It's Thursday, May 15th, 2008. I'm James Kotecki. Welcome to the show. For some time now, Barack Obama's campaign has been facing a serious problem. Working class white people don't want to vote for him. A point Hillary Clinton has underscored with both her controversial comments and with her recent blowout win in West Virginia. Well, yesterday, Obama received a huge endorsement from John Edwards, who, while the presidential candidate, was known as the upbeat and then angry champion of working class and poverty-stricken Americans. His endorsement could mean Obama's demographic problems are over. John Edwards knows what it's like to be a white man because, unlike some of the other candidates, he is a white man. John Edwards also knows what it's like to be working class. He doesn't talk about this much, but his father worked in a mill. And along the way, he may or may not have become a wealthy trial lawyer and built a 28,000 square foot estate. But come on, if living in a multi-million dollar mansion with a basketball court and an indoor pool is somehow elitist, I don't want to be egalitarian. And speaking of those white working class Americans, Hillary Clinton now seems to regret her comment that she is better able to win their votes. On CNN, Wolf Blitzer quoted Congressman Charlie Rangel, who said that those comments were the dumbest thing he could have said. Clinton replied, well, he's probably right. Senator Clinton, come on. You know that's not the dumbest thing you could have said. Your comments may have been politically miscalculated, but they were also seemingly shrewd. There are many, many other combinations of words and or phrases that you could have uttered that would have better demonstrated low intelligence. I like big butts and I cannot lie comes to mind. As does really any reference to muskrat love. Even earnest attempts at racial reconciliation could have been rendered idiotic if, for example, you had phrased them in the parlance of Michael Jackson saying, if you're thinking of being my voter, it don't matter if you're black or white. Well, that's it for today's hit. Check out politico.com slash nothing for more stories. And don't worry, there's another dumb thing Hillary Clinton could have said, but I, I can't quite remember what it is right here on Kentucky TV. Wait, I remember now. Here's what she could do. Just hold the rally, walk up to the podium, and express your loyalty to the voters this way. Never 